How's it going guys? My name is Lamberl and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my in-game video settings, my commands, all the settings that I run in CSGO just because you guys ask me a lot in terms of commands and stuff and that's why instead of answering you guys individually I'm just going to make a whole new video about it. I have done a video like this before in the past which a lot of you guys did miss as well uh, but because it has been quite some time I decided to update it for you guys. Now before I begin with this video, I do want to apologize for not uploading yesterday. The reason why I didn't upload a video yesterday just because it was a very nice day. It was kind of the last day of summer and uh, I decided to spend it uh, with my friends and just kind of have a good time outside of Counter-Strike. And uh, today, this is going to be the video for today just because I'm a lazy piece of shit. And I'm trying to cheat my way out of it by uploading this video instead of, you know, an ESCA plug video. Um, but anyways, enough of that. Let's get on with the settings video. All right, so the first thing I have of course is the launch option so you guys want to access that by opening up steam right clicking on counter-strike global offensive clicking on properties and this window will pop up under general you guys will find set launch options just click on that and uh, these are the current commands that i have running so each command is separated by a space and uh, some of them start with a plus, some of them start with a minus, but the very first one is no vid. This basically removes the startup video so you don't get the valve ding, 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 or however it goes, but uh, that's that. Then the Mad Q mode 2, I believe that's just to boost your FPS. I don't know if some Reddit people were talking about it. I have no idea what it does, but I just know that it's supposed to make your FPS go up. I just put it there just for, you know, why not? Uh, this tick rate 128 will means that all your local servers, so basically whenever you play against bots or you host a lobby with a teammate and you guys get into a private map or something like that, your server will be in 128 tick and not 64 tick. So I just have that just because, you know, when I practice or whatever, I want to kind of practice on 128 tick. And then the last one is Nod 3D 9 EX1. I have no idea what this does, but uh, I saw it on Reddit as well, so I decided to add it here. So once you put all these things in, just click OK. And uh, every time you launch a game, it should activate those commands. All right, so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is my auto exec file. Now, this auto exec file, I believe it's not there from default. If it's not, you just have, just have to make one. Just simply right click, click new, click on text document, rename it to auto exec txt then remove the txt and rename it to cfg and then open it with like notepad or something like that uh to then access all the commands i'm using wordpad just because it kind of puts all the commands into nice lines for me so i don't have to worry about it but these are all the commands that i'm currently running the very first five are the rate commands basically these ones are set just to, so it can have you know good rate setup so my connection is basically perfect to the server this is the highest rate you can say set in counter-strike uh, this just means that i can run it on 128 tick um, so when i play on 128 tick servers it automatically sets the rate to those servers instead of 64 tick servers and then these two commands are just there with the best settings i guess fps max 999 obviously i have this set to the highest fps so i can get the highest fps instead of capping it at like you know 144 or 200 or whatever some people that cap it at 60 if they have a 60 hertz monitor it just all depends on you know your preference the next commands are there are my bind commands so these are my buy commands uh these are the only binds i have binded so i can buy stuff quickly basically my uh, vest helm, which is just Kevlar and helmet. And then I have left arrow as my buy flashbang, down arrow as my buy smoke grenade, right arrow as my buy HE grenade, and right control as my buy Molotov grenade. These four grenades are set in the line from left to right, so I can use just four fingers so I can buy it. Super simple and super easy. Now these alias commands are, are my jump throw commands. So if you guys ever see me do the Mirage window smoke from T-Spawn, I'm using this command. And uh, all it is is just you, you pull the pin, Press the button. In my case, it's Alt. So if you guys want to copy that, I will leave that in the description. And the moment you press your jump throw button, it will let go of the smoke and it will always throw in the same exact perfect timing. And uh, these three lines are for me to toggle seeing teammates through walls. Now, this is the really big one that you guys always ask me about is how do I see my teammates through walls? How do I see their equipment and stuff like that? Well, these two commands are basically going to allow you to do that. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to go in game and enable the following command, which I will write out in front of your screen. So once that's enabled, it will stay on forever. You don't have to touch it at all. And then this, these bunch of commands will, will, will basically will do is just make you toggle teammates equipment on and off you don't have to have a toggle on you can have it on forever if you just put this in 
in your auto exec just a simple plus cl show team equipment but for me i'd like to i like to have a toggle on there just why not just in case i need to refresh it or something like that and that's gonna do it for the auto exec let's jump into game and i'll show you guys all my video settings okay so now that we're in game here are my keyboard and mouse settings nothing really too special here my mouse sensitivity is set to 1.06 my zoom sensitivity is set to 0.8 i actually used to play on 0.7 but i'm not sure when this went up i honestly don't know i play on raw input of course no mouse acceleration and i uh, hear my bindings I'm going to scroll through them really quickly here just so you guys can get a, uh, a feel for what I do. But nothing really matters here other than, of course, where the grenades begin. As you guys will see, it's a little bit special. Starting off with the Molotov cocktail, I've set it to KPINS, which is the zero button on my numpad. My small grenade is set to mouse 5, my flashbang is set to mouse 3, and my HE grenade is set to button 6. The thing is though, I don't use 6 for my HE grenade, I just use 4. Every time you press 4, which is to cycle grenades, it will pull out the HE grenade first, which is why I have set that to number 4. To give you guys a better feel for how I actually use my grenades, I'm going to actually open up my Logitech gaming software right now. So the very first thing is, of course, I use 800 DPI, no other settings. Uh, I don't change my DPI. My polling rate is obviously at 1000 hertz. So here is my actual setup for the grenades. I use my mouse wheel button, the click, of course, to pull out my flash. Um, I scroll down in order to jump. That's very important. That's how I bunny hop. This right here used to be just a Logitech profile switch button, which I basically rebound to num zero. If you actually look on your keyboard, it will say INS on the number zero on your numpad. My forward button right here is my smoke button. And then my back button right here is my talk button in game. All the other buttons I don't really use that much, obviously, except the left click and right click. Uh, but other than that, that's going to do it for the Logitech gaming software. Here are my CSGO game settings. There's actually nothing really too special about this category. Obviously, here I have enabled developer console. You want to have that on always. My HUD options, I have crosshair style, classic, static, crosshair color, light blue. I will actually go over my crosshair settings in just a little bit. My HUD scale is set to 0.85. That way, it's a little bit bigger on my screen. Uh, you guys can set this to whatever you want. But... I'd say the bigger the better just because you don't have to actually dart away from the center of your screen too far to see what you're dealing with. HUD color set to default, HUD background alpha set to 0.5 and uh, the rest don't really matter. Team options don't really matter, you guys can check that out, what I do. Spectator and scoreboard options don't matter at all to me either, I don't change those. Item options, of course you want to have this switch weapon on pickup, no. This is a very very big noob move if you have this enabled. That way if, you, if you're ever shooting a guy with a pistol and you run over a weapon, it doesn't pull it up automatically and you get sprayed down view model position this is a big one a lot of you guys ask me what is my view model position what are my view model settings i'm a simple guy I just use classic crosshair i've been using this pretty much the whole time it's actually in my description as well so pretty much every single time you guys ask me what my view model position is you could have just looked in the description if you guys want to recreate my view model go ahead and find classic in the game settings and you got it my radar options radar hot size is set to 1.1 Rotate the radar, yes. Radar map zoom set to 0.35. The reason why I have 0.35 set to radar map zoom is because uh, when it's zoomed out a bit more, you get you can see more of the map. There's actually another command for the radar, which is actually called CL underscore radar always centered. I have this set to one. I hate having it on zero. I like it when my character centered in the radar um, and I'm not off to the side. That's just the way my eyes are used to it. Here are my video settings. Some of you guys ask me about it, but the brightness set to 1.6, basically the lowest, for some reason it's the brightest. Uh, color mode set to computer monitor, aspect ratio set to 16 by nine. I do not play on 4.3. Um, I sometimes play on 16 by 10, but this is, this right here is my anti-tilt resolution so basically whenever i'm tilting for a long period of time i will play on this resolution for maybe a couple of days and uh, go back to 16 by 9. the reason why i play on 16 by 9 is just because i've, I've been used to playing on uh, native resolution for you know pretty much my entire gaming career playing on 16 by 9 just feels crisp it's very nice and clear and it, to me it just feels the best i tried playing on 4.3 to it's just a little bit uh way too stretched for me I, i've never tried playing on black bars but um i feel like i'm just being limiting myself if i do play on 4.3 so instead i play on 16 by 9 i like it and that's the way it is my display mode set to full screen laptop power savings set this to disabled the advanced video options probably what you guys are looking for global shadow quality set to high you guys want to have this on high if you have a good computer um that way you'll be able to see enemies shadows from a longer distance model slash texture detail set to low 
effect detail set to low shader detail set to very high the reason why this is set to very high is because i like to look at my knife and have all the shaders uh nice and rendered and looking all pretty and shiny multi-core rendering set to enabled multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode set to none texture filtering mode set to bilinear fxaa anti-aliasing is disabled as you guys can see everything is pretty much disabled here and on low other than of course multi-core rendering shader detail and shadow quality the reason why i play on the lowest settings is because i feel like on the lowest settings you can see your enemies a lot better i don't know that's just the way it is to me and just to, of course to get the last bit of fps possible and for the last bit of the settings here my audio settings my master volume i usually play on 0.8 i don't know why that's just the way I like it. I think 1 is just too loud and 0.8 is the sweet spot. Music, volume, and seam overlay. I have this on point 0.1. Go TV caster volume set to 1. Audio device is set to my default device, obviously. You can actually select the device you want to have it on, which is pretty cool. Audio output configuration. I have this set to Serio headphones on HRTF. VOIP volume set to 0.4. If you guys can't hear over your teammates, um, and you guys complain about your teammates being too loud, just turn them down using the VOIP volume and play audio one game and background set to yes. This is a really big one, especially when you tab out. Um, that way you can hear when the game actually starts, uh, which is also really nice and helpful. Here are my music options. I have master music volume set to point 0.2. The reason why it's set to point 0.2 is because I have everything disabled but 10 second warning volume which is set to one this allows me to hear the last 10 seconds of every round so whenever there's a bomb planted i can hear if there's 10 seconds left in a round therefore it will indicate if it's safe to go for the diffuse or not if i don't have a kit and so forth really really important that you guys have this on it will help you guys out a ton help you save all those precious weapons or get the diffuse so for the last bit over here i'm going to show you guys in my entire crosshair set up here so starting from top seal underscore crosshair draw outline is set to zero seal underscore crosshair scale is set to two seal underscore crosshair size is set to three seal underscore crosshair style is four this is basically the classic static style of the crosshairs seal underscore crosshair thickness is set to one crosshair gap is set to negative 2.5 seal underscore crosshair dot is obviously set to zero i did not have a dot in the middle um, and crosshair color is set to four, which would give you that light blue color. This is what my crosshair is currently. This is what you guys want to have in order to have the same exact crosshair as me. Some of you asked me if I made this myself or not. Yeah, just kind of like, you know, playing around with the different crosshairs. And uh, um, eventually I assembled one that was just right for my liking. I just want to apologize for not updating this crosshair in the description of all, of all my videos. I pretty much switched it somewhere around springtime, I think. Um, don't quote me on that, but I just forgot to change it in the descriptions of my video I will leave all of these commands in the description of course And I will also leave out the full commands so you guys should just copy paste that into the console The last command I do want to talk about is my clear decals bind if you guys do watch my videos You guys probably know that I'm obsessed with clearing clearing the blood and the bullet marks off the wall So that's why I binded a command that is called r underscore clear decals uh, to a key which is super simple all you do is do bind space the key that you want to bind to for me it's h and then space r underscore clear decals this command will right here will set that every time you press h it will activate this command which will clear all the blood and all the bullets off the walls so that's gonna do it for me for today hope you guys have enjoyed this video hope you guys are satisfied now you guys know all of my settings and hopefully you guys will stop asking me hopefully you guys learned something new from this video uh, found some new tricks and uh, that's gonna do it for me for today sorry there was no gameplay up today um, just the way it turned out but my name is Bill Burl. thank you guys so much for watching and remember be water my friends